When the Kavari family was asked to sit down with us to talk about Chris, there was no shortage of volunteers. He is just a joy. Fine young man. I'm always telling people about Chris and showing them pictures and saying, well, you know, he's in the Special Olympics and he, he has a job. There's not a moment that Chris hasn't shown what life is. He took what was dealt to him and made the best. After spending only minutes with the Kavari family, it was clear to see that it wasn't the lights and cameras they showed up for, it was each other. And this is exactly what they have been doing since the day Chris was born. Doctor told me Down syndrome and I knew immediately what that meant. And I kind of made the statement that everything will be right when we get home because I got a little support from my mom. He said, uh, what am I going to do, mother? And I said, oh, Robert, you must bring the baby home and try. I says, we don't know what lies ahead. And in an instant, what was the start of a family became the start of a team. A team of equal players with equal worth and equal abilities. There's no limitations we expect from him. He's there, he does everything that everybody else does. My daughter used to say that he's, he doesn't have no disability and so it was just the very fairness in this home that we raised him in. He was always like the bigger brother that was always better at sports and taught me how to do things. The Kavaris have always been an athletic family, but as some will tell you, Chris just may be the best athlete in the bunch. Well, I'm going to play um, basketball, soccer, floor hockey, and play glory, um, bowling. What's amazing is Chris can ski and the rest of us can't. <laughs> He's really good at basketball and the rest of us probably have never played basketball. What Chris may lack in natural talent, he makes up for with hard work and determination. There doesn't seem to be anything that Chris Kavari can't do. Apart from driving, I don't know anything he can't do. He uses a cell phone better than my mom does. When he was in high school, bless his heart, he was in every play. He attended every prom. Uh, he's had girlfriends. Uh, there's in the sport I don't think he's tried. While in high school, Chris even became an integral part of the varsity football team. Chris has been part of our managerial crew for quite a while. He and uh, a lot of his com padres have uh, worked with us and uh, share the sideline with us. In fact, they lead our football team onto the field every Friday night. Working with the football team was only the beginning. Like all of the Kavari children, as Chris graduated from high school, he entered the workforce. He was really, really eager to have a job and do well. So eventually ended up here at uh, Gourmet Pizza and he's been here ever since. I liked it very much because I had that sense that he was going to be part of the community and that gave me that security that I really admire that for what people have done for him to get the job at Gourmet Pizza. Now 32 years old, Chris Cavari is a bit of an icon in the city of Redlands, spending a few smiles and a few life lessons along the way. I mean, after every game, we could get beat by 35 and Chris is up there the first guy to shake my hand and tell me good job. I think he's a great part of, of who the community is and I think it's it's good for everyone you know to understand um, that we all have a part to play and that uh, we all can find our niche and be happy contributing individuals 